Hello and welcome to Sea of Thieves News, where I'm going to be taking you through the latest and greatest things coming to the game, as well as a look back at some of the things you might have missed. There's lots to cover today, so let's get started. First up, we've got a new update coming to the game which you'll be able to download on February 10th. After you get your hands on the update, you might notice a few changes, including some suspiciously spooky visions out at sea. We've also got a new accessibility feature which adds additional audio support when steering the ship's wheel. Enabling this feature within the game's audio settings will mean that for every quarter turn of the wheel, you'll hear a distinctive sound. That sound can also be adjusted using the accompanying volume slider. And a reminder that the first of our Sea of Thieves adventures, Shrouded Islands, launches on February 17th. This new, story-driven, time-limited event will see you explore an abandoned golden sands, and you'll also meet the mysterious new character, Belle. And if you want to get up to speed on the lore of Sea of Thieves before diving into this adventure, then look no further than the Athena's Fortune audiobook. Listen for free on our selected streaming services or via our very own YouTube playlist. We've also got a refreshed lineup of items in the Pirate Emporium headed your way on February 10th. The cruel cutlass and fearsome firearms of the new cutthroat weapon set are perfect for pirates who show no mercy out on the waves. But if murder and bloodshed aren't quite your style, you can instead spread the enigmatic teachings of three sagely simians with the expressive mystical macaques and moat bundle. And if you're looking for a hot new item to drop your ancient coins on, then the Ashen Curse Alsatian may spark your interest. There are also new collector's versions of the Thunderous Fury sails and figurehead, as well as all new ways to stay hidden from sight with the Props Master and moat bundle. And if things aren't going your way, and it all seems a little unfair, then express yourself in glorious fashion with the Throw a Strop emote, which is free to all players. And for those coffee aficionados that missed out on the first run, the Madrina Sea of Thieves bundle is now back in stock. You can get your hands on two tubs of dark chocolate salted caramel cold brew coffee, a limited edition glow-in-the-dark shaker cup, as well as the in-game Ah! Coffee emote. The next episode of the Sea of Thieves podcast will be released on February 11th, where we'll be talking through some of the community's most requested topics. Tune in for new information on hit registration, combat, balancing, and more. Season 3 of The Gauntlet has started on Sea of Thieves television, so tune in every Tuesday to see which crews can complete daring challenges and sail to victory before the time runs out. And in case you weren't aware, we recently held our very first Sea of Thieves Community Day, a celebration of all the wonderful individuals that make up our community. And there was plenty to see. From stunning artwork to raining gunpowder kegs, your enthusiasm and creativity blew us away. We'll be holding a Community Day every season, so if you missed the celebration this time, then fear not. Keep an eye on our social channels and we'll give you plenty of notice to get your party hats and banana-shaped balloons ready. It had to be you, it had to be you. And finally, on the 11th of February, you'll be able to listen to our newest music release, a powerful and stirring pirate rendition of It Had To Be You, the perfect soundtrack to serenade your significant other and celebrate the season of love. Well, that's all for this episode. If you liked what you just saw and you want to stay up to date with all the latest Sea of Thieves news, then like, subscribe, and hit that little ship's bell for all those notifications. Cheers.